Greetings, Aries. I'm excited to do this reading for you guys. All right. This is going to be a weekly reading from the 20, 29th through the 5th of... Whoa, what's going on here? <clears throat> uh, Eight of Pentacles. So there's work being put forth in a relationship. You're definitely very passionate about this individual. There's some kinderness being expressed. Benevolence between you and someone. The Wheel of Fortune is like, whatever it is that you're on, it seems to be blessed. All right, I don't know why that came up. But by the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm using a new deck. It's called the Tarot. Well, I can't really show all of them, but I could show the PG ones. So I'm gonna have to keep that one out. But anyways, it's called the Tarot of Sexual Magic. Let me know how you like it, all right? Otherwise, I'll do you a solid and I'll go back to my black deck. All right, so let's get on. Let's get on. Let's, what's going on with with Aries at the end of April? What's going on with Aries at the end of April? What is going to be the overall energy here being experienced for Aries at the end of April? Ooh, Ten of Swords. Lord, Lord have mercy. This, ladies and gentlemen, completely contradicts what I said. But we're going to see how this plays out because I'm pretty sure it's interwoven in this story that I'm about to unfold. So, the Ten of Swords. This is someone that is absolutely heartbroken, ladies and gents. All right. Look, I'm going to have to... In the window, there seems to be someone getting it on, right? And this woman seems to be crying her eyes out because it seems that she's just absolutely heartbroken, all right? This individual, someone here is experiencing that their partner has moved on. That's basically what I'm seeing. They're experiencing a disinterest. They're experiencing their partner being disinterested in them. Okay, that's the sort of pain that I'm getting from, from this reading. All right, I don't know where you are in this, but <clears throat> let's look deeper. Tell us more. Tell us more. All right, well, there's effort. Well, there's either effort being put forth or there's contemplation of effort being put forth. All right, there's going to be, yeah, someone here is definitely just has this energy about doing or fixing things, but I don't get the sense that they're doing it right. All right, I feel that the relationship right now is, is in a very discombobulated state, Aries, and, and I don't think it's being navigated correctly, to be frank, okay? There are certain actions that someone is taking in this relationship that is questionable to the other individual, wherever that is wherever you fit into this. Now, Aries, where do you fit into this situation? What is Aries' energy towards? Oh, there you go, the Emperor. Go figure, buddy. Well, that's a lot of cards, but I'll read them anyways, okay? So let's get them in order. All right, so Aries. Hmm. Look. I get the sense that you have a propensity to bring about something new within this relationship. You're seeking to mend things, the wounded warrior sort of energy, okay? So you're seeking to bring about change, right? I'll, I'll show you through the illustrations. Here's the emperor seeking to bring about change within a situation. Ace of Cups, right? An emotional spark, an emotional kick, some sort of action orientation that entails mending things. Nine of Wands. This is the wounded warrior card. Look how this woman is mending this individual's heart. However, based on, the, on these last two cards, I'm getting the sense that there's still an elephant in the room and you are bound to suppress something that needs to be addressed. Okay, Aries? It's like, I'm gonna reiterate what I said originally when I first started this reading. I get the sense that there's a propensity to doing, to fixing things, but I don't get the sense that it's being done correctly. All right? That was for you after all. All right? And if this is not your reading, ladies and gentlemen, you might as well just leave. No need to comment and say this is not my story. All right? Otherwise, you're just going to be a fucking troll. No one wants to hear your negativity. You only want to hear the real negativity. No need to add to the negativity. We're going to turn this around. I'm not, not going to leave you fucking tormented areas. You're my people. All right? So I'm going to leave you right. So, let's look into the individual that you are dealing with. 
Let's look into the individual that Aries is dealing with. What is their energy towards Aries? What is this individual's energy towards Aries? In the midst of this bloody mess, the strength. There you go. The strength. Well, look. Again, I get the sense that there's a lot of pain. There's a lot of difficulty in this situation. Aries. But it seems that your person here is willing to put the effort. All right, they're willing to put the effort to come together and enjoy Okay, to come together in peace, to mend. It seems that you and your mate are on the same page, to be frank. Tell me more about this individual's energy. Tell me more about this individual's energy toward Aries. <clears throat> well, look, they're invested. They're invested. But I'm going to tell you something. Something for you to implement in your life, okay, during this time. It seems that this person is very discombobulated. It seems that they're entertaining different thoughts. They can be investing into the relationship, trying to navigate and, okay, I'm going to try to fix this. I'm going to try to do my part. Uh, I'm going to try to put up with whatever it is that I have to. It's not easy. It's uncomfortable. All right. And at the same time, this individual is like entertaining, but what if, is this even worth it? Is this even going to work out? It, that's the sort of energy that I'm getting here. So it's like, again, this is not being dealt with appropriately. If someone wants to fix something they don't go into fixing a problem defeated all right you don't go into a war thinking you lost already i'm telling you this is not being navigated correctly aries all right so you're the one watching this reading okay so i'm going to equip you with the tools okay and this is this entails that you're going to have to surmount your own negativity and your own limitations so that you can be the higher individual and influence whomever it is that you're dealing with aries Okay, well, before we go any further, let me just say, here is the beginning of your advice. Nine of Cups is all about contentment. It's all about self-contentment, Aries. What does this mean? This means that you, first and foremost, have to be stable yourself if you are going to bring about influence. If you're going to influence this individual in a positive way, you best make sure that you are grounded within your own self, within your own emotions. You better not be some tormented Aries, mortified, worried that they're going to lose this relationship, scared that they're going to be left alone for eternity till they die the rest of their life. And that nonsense. Scratch that shit. Eradicate it. All right? Eradicate any opposition towards what it is that you're trying to attain, which seems to be a harmony within the situation. Okay? Eradicate any, anything that seems to oppose that, Aries. This entails fear. This entails insecurity. Insecurity that this isn't going to work out. You best transform that belief and believe that it is going to work out. All right? Ground yourself in that energy. Ground yourself in that which you are trying to attain. Tell us more. More wisdom for Aries. More wisdom for Aries. Aries, that's it. It's all about being grounded with, this is not rocket science, ladies and gentlemen, okay? This is not rocket science. I'm sure a psychologist could have told you the same thing. It's all about you grounding yourself, making sure that you are in emotional balance. Thus, coming forth and putting effort. Putting effort, I got a sense of that, all right? I can show you the illustrations. Not on the YouTube videos. Anyways, it's all about putting effort Truly, putting effort, three of pentacles, this is working together, collaborating. This is you being astute, okay, intelligent, being able to discern what works and what doesn't. Aries, if you're wanting to save this, if you're wanting to do this correctly, you got to get yourself correct, all right? You got to navigate this correctly. So not only act out of your own volition and what you think is right, but you're dealing with someone. Someone that is having difficulty navigating their own thoughts. Therefore, you have to compromise. You have to think before you act. All right? You have to think strategically, ladies and gentlemen, and you have to think in a grounded way. A good sense, a good sense of approach, Aries, would be for you to embody this energy of thinking about the long run of the relationship. Okay, looking at this individual like, you know what? 
I can make this individual my lifelong partner. All right, so I'm gonna be patient. I'm going to be collected. I'm not gonna be fearful. I'm not going to be scared of losing them because I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna show them. I'm gonna show them my worth, flat out. I'm gonna show them my worth, flat out. That's, that's what I'm seeing here, Aries, okay? And as for you ladies, that say that, you know, women do not chase, that they are, well, best of luck, okay? Best of luck. I hope that you can take from what I'm telling you and use what you can to your advantage, all right? To your benefit. Now, with that said, Aries, one last card before we take this to the extended and dissect whomever it is that you're dealing with. Where is this going? Based on the trajectory of this situation and based on what Aries has heard. Where is this going? Mm. Well, there you go. Invulnerability, ladies and gentlemen. Invulnerability. Look at this. Look how this man is seeking to get someone's attention. And look at the other individual, just nonchalant, not even paying attention. Looks like this person's asleep. Don't bloody bother me. But, there, but she's not asleep. She's not asleep. Look, she's holding that. She's holding something in her hand, which, which insinuates that this is an act. Okay, this is not. She's, she's ignoring this individual. And that's what I see going on. In vulnerability, a lack of connection. There isn't any love going in. There isn't love going out. All right? That's where I see this going based on the trajectory of this. So with that said, I'm going to take this to the extended, and I'm going to dig deep into this individual. All right. Try to find a way to approach this individual and deal with whomever it is that you're dealing with, because they seem to be a bit discombobulated, ladies and gentlemen. All right. They seem to be sticking. They seem to be sticking around for the fight. But are they strong enough? We will find out. The link to the extended will be in the description. Aries. May you use this message to your advantage. See you.